Yo, what's up, guys? This Chocho Gift, and welcome to another tips and trick on Call of Duty Mobile. Okay, guys, so on this video, guys, I'll be showing you guys how to change your Call Mobile email address using PC. So, actually, I made this video previously using a mobile device. So, if you don't have a, if you don't have a PC, you can also do this on a mobile device, actually. Yes, if you don't have a PC, you can just use a mobile device to do it. And if you want to watch that video, yeah, click down down below on how to change your call mobile on your mobile device anyway. <laughs> Alright guys, so so this is for anyone, anyone using a PC device and you want to change your email address very fast. So the, the PC device is kind of very easy, you know, on there you have everything already set up for you. You know, all your email address already been linked on this PC already. Okay, guys. All right. So, if I start, guys, please make sure you like this video and also hit the sub button down below for more videos. And if you have any question, yeah, please make sure you leave it down the, down the comment below. I will try to, you know, respond to every comment. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and open my, you know, my Chrome browser or any browser you're actually using. All right. So, just go ahead and, you know, type in callofduty.com or just type Call of Duty and you go to colorist.com yeah so this is the second one over there so once you open it colorist.mobile.com just colorist.com anyway guys <laughs> it's not colorist.mobile.com all right you're gonna see you know, above the screen guys you okay let's wait for it to load it so it's still loading right now so actually we have everything uh on this dashboard here so you're gonna see the login and the sign up login and sign up above the icon just go ahead and click on you know login so once you come to login then it's gonna ask to put your email address which is what you're actually using so i have this email address i'm using right now which is a church gifts so this is just my you know a test run email address which i just created to you know run this project Alright, so we're gonna put the password. So I already had the password we already copied already. I was gonna paste it in or just gonna put your password. So if it's asking for a two step, okay guys, you need to do this two step verify, you know, stuff because most times your account is gonna be linked, can be hacked by anyone. But don't worry, I'll show you guys how to do this stuff later on. But for now, just go to you know skip for now. We're gonna skip this process for now. All right, so once you log in everything, you're gonna see above the card over here. Okay, this is my card account. And if you go to above the screen, the top right hand corner over here, on your name icon, you're gonna see the you know link link account, basic info, professors and sign out. Just go to basic info, guys. All right, so let's wait for it to come up. All right, so right now I'm doing this on the PC. So if, actually, if you're using a mobile device and you want to do this on a mobile device, yeah, I've done it already on a mobile device. Just go ahead and check down from below. Okay, so it's still coming up. All right, yeah, here we are. So once you come to basic info, over here you'll be seeing your, you know, your full name, your email address, your password, your address or an additional ID. Well, don't worry about the additional ID. Just you know, click on your you know the email address which is over here. Click on it and you know go ahead and put in the new email address you want to use, guys. So, guys, first of all, make sure you don't put a wrong email address and make sure the email address you're putting is is yours. Because if you want to put someone email address, guys, you, you you're gonna lose your account for real. Like you're gonna lose everything on your account. So make sure you put the right email address and make sure you put your email address all right so i have this email address which i you know on linkedin from before so i'm just going to put it right back again okay so this was the email address which i did on the mobile device if you guys didn't know about that yeah just go ahead and watch the previous video i made on the mobile device so once you're done putting the email address yeah just go ahead and click on save and you're gonna ask to put the same password guys you need to put the same password you you know used to log in before so since it's already there, just control V 
and you know submit all right so it's gonna then submit to the email address so what you have to do now right now is you know you have to go to the email address and verify your account so go to your email address and verify the account all right so okay so i just changed my email address back to the same one so this is the email address which i you know change it to so once you come over here you're gonna see the verify your email address click on the verify icon then you know see account has been verified already so email verification complete so right now you can't use your previous old email address to log in anymore because it's no more longer with it so you can only use this email address to log in all right guys so that's for the video guys don't forget to like this video and please guys hit the sub button down below for more video so yeah yo what's up guys check out this app that's trending it's called status and media downloader download all media with one click okay guys so you can download any any videos or pictures from any social media from likey instagram whatsapp tiktok facebook and twitter all in one click all you have to do is download the app and you know download whatever i want to download by copying the link and go over here and you know just go ahead and paste the link so right now guys you can download any videos or any pictures you want from any status okay guys wanna get this app wanna get this app Twitch can jump below for the link that's one below and get it up and guys get this app it's gonna be cool because you can download any videos or anything you want from any status or any media downloader and that's it guys once you have downloaded the app then you're gonna go ahead and see everything downloaded right now so guys that is it for the video guys don't forget to go ahead and check out this app it's called status and media downloader download everything you want in just one click all right guys